Considered by some to be evidence of one of the world's oldest examples of an advanced surgical procedure, this 2,000-year-old skull belonged to a Peruvian warrior and appears to show that a metal plate was surgically implanted to repair a severe fracture, quite possibly suffered during battle. If the skull is proven to be genuine, it's one of the most unique discoveries originating from the ancient Andean civilization. The Peruvian warrior skull, which was also elongated as part of a traditional practice to show status and privilege, first appeared on a Facebook post by Oklahoma's Museum of Osteology in April 2020, and due to the interest it gained, it was put on public display shortly after. Additional details found on the skull show what looks like a small hole below the implant, which is thought to be a sign of trepanation. Anthropologist and author of The Art and Archaeology of Trepanation in Ancient Peru, John Verano, makes indication that the ancient Incan people were likely to have discovered the practice of trepanation by accident. But in this discovery, they found that it could have medicinal benefits through alleviating pressure. A spokesperson from the museum said, we don't have a ton of background on this piece, but we do know that he survived the procedure. Based on the broken bones surrounding the repair, you can see that it's tightly fused together. It was a successful surgery. While the images have captured the attention and imagination of everyone who's seen it, the Museum of Osteology has also said that the authenticity of the metal plate has yet to be confirmed. The website Live Science contacted the museum and we're told that carbon dating hasn't taken place yet, and also an archaeologist is yet to examine the ancient skull up close. While the skull itself is genuinely an ancient skull, there is a divide in opinions as to whether or not the metal implant is a work of forgery added to the skull in order to increase its value. The divide in opinions on the authenticity of the skull was discussed further in the article on Live Science. They reached out to the professor and author John Verano who he mentioned earlier. While acknowledging that the skull is real, he added that he was suspicious about the authenticity of the implant, stating, this metal implant could have been inserted many decades ago, before either the museum or the donor owned it. And this is actually a really good point. All that we know is that the skull was donated to the museum. We don't know when or where it was supposedly excavated or found. In a 2010 research paper published in the International Journal of Osteoarchaeology, John Verano mentions that he has studied other ancient Andean skulls with metal implants in the past. However, some of these skulls were forgeries, and the others were not due to a surgical procedure, but added to the skull as part of a grave offering. Bringing some balance to the mystery, Professor of Anthropology at the University of California, Dr. Danielle Curin, told Live Science that she believes there is enough evidence on the skull to suggest that it could be genuine, but didn't conclusively state that it was 100% legitimate. For that to be determined, further study including an x-ray would need to take place to see if the implant is actually covering a cranial fracture or a hole caused by trepanation. The currently visible evidence which has left the door open on this mystery for Professor Curin are the fracture patterns and lines which she says show signs of healing and suggests the Andean warrior may have survived at least several weeks to months after the procedure. So it seems that this mystery could actually be solved through further testing, but why these tests haven't yet taken place is currently unknown. <laughs>